good morning. This is Warm Moose Outdoors. We're going to be talking about the 2019 Cash Bar. Kind of how I'm going to use it this year as a system. Try something a little bit different. Um, so this is it. This is the Cash Bar. So runs as a back bar. You can also run it as a front stabilizer if you want. Um, neat thing about this is instead of having just dead weight on your bow, you can have things in the bow with it. So um, basically just a canister. So this is the five inch model. They have a seven inch model. Uh, this is what it comes standard with is this bar right here. I added this extra because I want the clearance of my fifth arrow to run on the same side as my fletchings, okay? So that's why I added this. It's, that's something I did personally. So I'm gonna go over what I keep inside of it and how I use it. So first of all, what it weighs, how I have it set up is 8.9 ounces. So that's what it weighs without anything in it. We'll weigh it once I put. So what I have in here, it comes with this felt roll. So, and this is everything I need to, see if I can make this right. Everything I need to work on my bow. So Allen key that runs everything from my sight to my rest, extra spring. I run the Valkyrie system. So this is the 200 grain uh, field point. This is the 125s, which I run as to test other broadheads. D loop serving, extra um, range finder battery, extra knocks and a lighter. That's what I keep in here. The other thing I don't have is the Taito knives. So I'll have extra blades for those Taito knives. And that's what goes in here. So see if I can do this. I'll try to put everything away with one hand, which is going to be a hoot. So let's see if I can. There we go. Oops, I'll put you back on the stand. All right, so I'll talk to you. So the cool thing about this is now if you're taking doing a quick short hunt, you can, you have everything you need if something breaks um, on your on your bow. And you know, if you're on a backcountry hunt or you're on, you know, guys, I, I've done this before. I have this awesome toolkit that I bring everything with me, um, you know, in back in my truck. But if you're way back there and something happens, you cut your D loop, uh, you cut your string and you just want to quick reinforce serve it. Can't really do that when all the crap's in your truck. So, um, so yeah, that's why I keep this the way I do. Um, so everything's here. So I hunt in Wisconsin as long as well as out west. So a lot of times I don't bring a whole lot of crap with me to fix my bow. So if I'm walking into my stand on a perfect morning and it you know it, it uh normally i tuck this in here but it's a giant pain in the ass so i'm just gonna roll it up let's just, just show you okay rolls up very nicely that's it so then you just unscrew this slides in so there's not a whole lot of weight but and you can also add so if you wanted just to run static weights the sticker there's behind that you can stack threaded weights onto it. So let's see what it weighs now. It's 12.25 ounces. That's pretty good weight, but it's not it's not crazy. So then all you do, it slides in here. The way I have it is I have it about one finger off the limb and just locks down. And that's it. So it works great. Um, it's an awesome system. Uh, it really keeps everything tight to the bow. I mean, you're not you're probably from the string, you're talking, I don't know, maybe three inches off. So maybe four, you know. So the other cool thing I wanna show you real quick before we, before I end the video is how it can work in conjunction with the other system. So you can run it like this, and this is how I run it. It balances pretty good. It's got a pretty good amount of front weight, but you can, and you can add more weight to play with this, and I'm still working on that too. Um, so, but you can run this system and this is the other reason why I kind of wanted to go with this. So this quiverizer works as a traditional quiver too. And it's not much more than a tight spot. Everyone asks that. It's not very much more than a tight spot. Take that. So when you're packing in, if your bow's just tacked to your pack and you don't want to, you know, carry it like this giant thing, here you go. That's it. 
So now you're running a full system right here. So, and that's all we got. So that's how I, if I was gonna hunt out of a ground blind, I would run it this way and I would run the equivalent, I would just take the equalizer off and probably set